Hi everyone, my name is Henry and you are welcome once again to Data Ware Hub. I'll be talking about enabling some of the best practices in Python programming by complying with PEP8 style guide. So what is PEP8? PEP8 convention provides a style guide for writing consistent and readable Python code. And I will show you how to encourage PEP8 conventions in Visual Studio Code. The key benefits of following PEP8 best practices and conventions in Python programming is to improve the readability and consistency of code. <clears throat> the readability of code is very important because code is read much more than it is written. The readability of code cannot be overemphasized because it helps to improve the maintainability of code. Following the standards in PEP8 will go a long way in improving the quality of the code we, we write. The first step is to install PEP8, which has the Python coding standard for uh, things like variable naming style, module, uh, doc string, function, doc string, code indentation, and many more. Now to install uh, the PEP8, you just run the command on my you just run the command pep pip install pep 8. so if you run this command you go ahead and install pep 8. i'm not going to run because i already have it installed so that will install a pep 8 for you now after you install pep 8 the next step is to how do you enforce it to enforce pep8 standard we will install pylint in visual studio code pylint is the tool pylint is the tool that checks whether our code complies with pep8 standard and returns error where we fail to comply the easiest way to install pep8 sorry the easiest way to install pylint is to go to the extension tab in Visual Studio Code, search for PyLint, and then install it. So I'm going to show you how to, you know, install PyLint. It's very simple. You just go to extension and type PyLint. So you can see that's PyLint. So I have it already. You can see I have it already installed here. So uh, that is how you install uh, a pylint. So if you want to install, you can uninstall from, from here. So another way you can install uh, a pylint, this one involves more steps. So I advise you to just install it through, you know, extension. Uh, uh, this involves typing the command. Sorry. This involve so this and now you can stop piling just pip install pilot but this one involve more steps because after installing after running that command to install pilot now you just have you have to enable it you know so you you follow the following you take the following step to enable pilot you, you, you press pip uh, sh uh, control shift p you type lint so you can either, uh, okay, I have it right here. So you see, you can see Python enable or disable pylint. So you click it and you click enable. So after doing that, you repeat that step again. You say uh, control shift P. You can see pylons, uh, Python select uh, linter. You click it and you select pylint. So this this is a step for you know uh, installing a pylint you know uh, so after installing pylint so but note apart from highlighting stylistic problems pylint highlights syntactical errors 
in your code. After this, the next step we are going to we will talk about auto how to auto generate doc, doc string doc strings. One aspect of PEP8 is the PEP257 convention, which is the doc string convention. To make it this to make it easy to comply with this convention, it would be great to auto generate doc strings. For a large project, writing doc strings could be cumbersome. So I use auto doc string to automatically generate doc strings for modules and functions. To install auto doc strings, go to extension on VS Code, type auto doc string, and then install it. So I will show you how to install it. Go to extension and type Sorry, I have to type auto doc string. Type auto doc. So you type auto doc string. You can see I already have auto doc string, you know, installed here. So, so this is where you install, you know, auto doc string. So after installing auto doc string, you can let's go back here. I will now show you how to generate uh, auto those strings on your code. If you look here, you can see we have this error highlighted. It's saying we have missing module doc string. To uh, to generate that, just put your cursor here, right click, and go to generate doc string. You see, it generates this doc string. You can see we have a uh, we have a bit of error there uh, due to indentation. So to fix that, you just right click and uh, form a document. Oh, simple, you see? You can, let's save it. So it's, you know, it solves that uh, uh, problem. So uh, we have another place here. The, the, we have an error here. The error is a missing function or method doc string. You can generate that one. Generate doc string. I generated that one. So we we'll have uh, another one here. Generate doc string. So you can see we've generated the doc string for for this function. So these are some of the ways of how you auto generate a doc string in your code. It makes it very easy for you. Instead of typing all the doc string, especially if you have a very large project, it could be very cumbersome. So this does it for you. And uh, it makes life easy. So, uh, uh, okay, I've talked about uh, auto pep formatter. One of that ex extension you, you might uh, consider installing is uh, auto pep 8. AutoPep 8 automatically formats Python code to conform to PEP8 uh, style guide. So you can install AutoPep 8, go to extension, you type AutoPep 8. So you can install it from here. So this is the format I helps you to but format your code, you know, to comply with the uh, auto auto pep auto pep eight. So this is one way you can, you know, do it. Now let's uh, so and also another important thing I want us to talk about is uh, enabling type checking. Now take for instance here we try to uh, you can see we try to from our code sample code here. You can see we generated our our doc string here. You can see we don't have type. You see, the type is not specified here. But if we enforce type checking, 
like here as we enforce type checking you see it's telling us that type parameter is unknown so it encourages us to put the type for that parameter you see so this is how so let me remove this and generate this uh let me delete this doc string and generate it again so you can see the importance of doing that generate doc string you can see here now we have the the type of the parameters in the doc string so that is also very you know important and now that that's important so I'm, i will show you how to you know uh enable type checking in your to enable type checking you just go to go to settings type pair type pair so if you type type checking now from here you can you can change the type checking mode you know so if it, i already put it on on strict by default it is off you know so if you have it off it will do type checking for you but if you put it basic or strict it will do type checking for you so this is how you enable type checking on you know vs code and let's go back to our code so you see how uh, type checking makes things uh, you know easy so uh also like i said before it also checks uh, uh pep it also checks other you know syntactic errors take for instance like here now in this code let's go here it's telling me that this is not accessed that means you have this variable here that is not used it's not accessed so uh, if I do something, if this if I have add this here, see that error goes out because I'm now using it now. So you can see we have neat code that complies with uh, you know pep eight convention. Let me add doc string here. So I can format if I want to format the whole code. I go to uh, format document. So, so see this I have neat code follows the you know best practices and uh, and conventions of pep eight. So thank you. Please please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That will help. See you next time.